Hey, how's it going everyone? HFT IP Fun Times here, back with another video, and I have no idea what I'm going to title this video, or whatever the fuck, um, but whether or not I include it in the title or not, I feel the need to give a preemptive, uh, you know, disclaimer right now. If you are easily offended by anything that goes against your own religious uh, beliefs or practices, or whatever the fuck, or you just don't like the topic of religion in general, I would say, st you know, kindly fuck off the video. You're gonna hate it. Now, I'm not trying to be mean or rude. I'm just saying you probably would be in your best interest to not actually watch this video all the way to the end. This is more or less just basically me talking about um, a specific uh, practice that I've recently gotten into that I'm still learning about, still reading about, still, you know, doing much research about in general. Uh, and overall, just, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, but this is the third item that I got for my birthday, uh, today. Um, it came with the two, well, it didn't come with the two Funko Pops. The two Funko Pops are in one box, and this other item was in its own little sleeve or bag, whatever the fuck. And in order for me to actually explain anything or any reason why I have this item or what it means to me, or why I wanted it, I have to go through quite a bit of this stuff, which involves me talking about different religions and practices, etc., 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 to actually, you know, get it out there. Um, so, just disclaimer, if you don't want to hear about any of that shit, you don't like any of that shit, click off right now, we're fucking good. I'm not going to talk about this any further unless asked by anybody in the comments of this video, or outside this video, but I'm going to keep stuff like that to a bare minimum at best. It's not something to, like, you know, preach about or talk about. It is what it is. So, first things first, I'm sure when I made my uh, Don't Starve Together Funko Pop video um, before this one, I'm sure you noticed this on my uh, my pinky. This is a stone. More importantly, this is hematite. Shit, I just realized I don't have the fucking item in question that I was going to show off. Uh, it's, it's, it's over here, so give me a second, let me grab it. Where the fuck did I put it? Where the fuck? Oh, there you are. Shit, it's literally right on top of here. Fuck. Alright, I got it. Put that down there. Cool. Alright, so, this is hematite. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry for that little distraction. Hematite, basically, is a stone that is, uh, you know, one of many used in this practice, and... It is considered to relieve tension, put your body at, at ease, stuff like that. So I have been wearing this on and off regularly. It's not a ring. It's not meant to be, you know, worn as a ring, but it doesn't hinder movement at all. You think it would, but it wouldn't. I just like wearing it on my pinky just because it, it gives me a sense of like, you know, security in this department, considering stress is a major factor with me. I have anxiety, severe anxiety, diagnosed with that, but, you know, we're not going to get into that. Everyone has anxiety. It's not a whose dick is bigger, you know, big, a bigger competition. It's, you know, it, it is just what it is. So, the reason why I'm wearing this little heart-shaped, uh, you know, stone of hematite, hematite, however you want to pronounce it, I say hematite, um, is because I have recently been introduced to a specific uh, type of practice and or, I guess, religious take um, by someone I met in VR chat a little over a week ago now. Um, I know it's not a lot of time to be getting into shit like this, but again, I have spent many hours and many nights learning about this and making sure that this is what it is and what I, you know, what I would like out of something. And I don't need religion in my life. Nobody technically really does. You don't have to have it. It's not a necessity. But for this one in particular, I feel like it would do me a lot of mental, you know, goodness. Or just, it would help me out, you know, mentally with a lot of things. Or help cope with a lot of things and issues that I certainly do have. So, this person in particular, I was, you know, dealing with a lot of stress. And they asked if they could, or not could, but if, if, I, if I would like them to perform a grounding spell. And I, I didn't know what the fuck that was. I'm about to explain what that is in a second. But a grounding spell, if you couldn't tell already, this is basically, um, it is a spell in the form and art of Wicca. Wicca is basically the art of witchcraft, and it can be a form of religion. What well, is to an extent, I both see it as one and not at all. I see it as both a lifestyle and as a religion put together, but without the stress and weight of you know religion just like pressing down on you 
like a soggy newspaper underneath a fucking boot. I don't fucking, I couldn't think of anything to say. But the art of Wicca has um, actually done me quite a bit of good as of late, and it's actually made me a little bit more inspired, a little bit more, you know, open to doing a lot of things that I, you know, wouldn't do a lot in my free time, I guess is what we're gonna say. But, um, fucking... Well, I'm just gonna explain the grounding spell a bit, because I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, what the fuck are you talking about? Is this like Harry Potter shit? Like, no. A grounding spell is basically, what you do is you grab a book, much like this, or a piece of paper of any kind, doesn't really matter what kind it is, lined or not. Um, it, you write down what's bothering you, what's troubling you, what's on your mind. You write that down, you get some candles, you light them, you get some crystals and some, you know, other types of, you know, various stones that were... You know, that will supposedly help you with this uh, little ritual, basically. And, like I said, this is, you know, hematite, and I already said what it does. So, something like this would most certainly help, I guess, with at least in my opinion, with a grounding spell. Again, I'm sure there's a lot, I'm probably bastardizing a lot of things by saying what would and would not help. I am not the information source to go to for this kind of thing, but I'm just explaining what I'm, my understanding of it is as of right now at this point. So a grounding spell, you write down what, what's bothering you on a piece of paper, you lay it out in front of you on a table or on the floor, however you want to do it, preferably have like a table or something you can put it on. You get on your legs or your knees, you just sit there, you can sit however you want, whatever's comfortable for you. You light some candles, lay out some, uh, you know, stones, crystals, specifically to help with what's, you know, going on to help you, you know, get through what you're getting, you know, trying to get through. Um, you just sit there and you just think. You meditate, well, you clear your head and you meditate. You, it, they did say it helps to stare at the flame, to concentrate and maintain focus, uh, you know, etc., etc., um, so on and so forth. And when you're done... You take that piece of paper, you rip it up, you burn it, you flush it down the toilet, whatever the fuck. You discard it completely in any way, shape, or form that you see fit. And you go... They encourage you to go take a bath with Epsom salt and some other herbs. Uh, incense also definitely helps as well. Um, I sound like a complete fucking lunatic, don't I? Whatever. Um, after that, you go outside... They do say, like, barefoot, step in the stand in the grass, and then just feel your connection. Basically, while you're, like, meditating, you're supposed to, like, um, you know, feel your connection with the earth. Feel, uh, you know, hence, you know, why it's called a grounding spell. Feel grounded to the earth, you know, and just overall, again, make a connection. Feel your connection with the earth and... Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I, I can't really explain it any better than that from what I've read. I just I did read it. That's what I remember reading. If I'm wrong or if I missed anything or if I fucked up on anything, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that was nice. But no. Um, this right here is a Celtic knot, by the way. And this and Wicca have a lot in common, more than you'd think. And the reason why I say that is because of this item right here. This is a... I know what you're going to say or think it is. It is not a pentagram. That is a pentagram. That is a pentacle. A pentacle is basically the symbol for Wicca, or I guess witch, witchcraft, etc. Um, it represents uh, the five different elements, or the four different elements, and I guess the element of soul... Uh, the essence of body and mind and soul is I, there's like th many things I've I've heard, but the most the one that I heard that was you know is what it is is the element of soul, and the other ones are earth, wind, fire, air. It doesn't I don't know which points they are on specifically, but I'm still like kind of getting the gist of certain things. But what I can say is um, specifically with this one, if you can't tell, these are Nordic runes uh, strewn about on this pentacle. And what these runes represent are each of the characters or letters of the alphabet. Uh, like, right up here, this fucking Down Syndrome-ass looking F, that is an A. This right here, it looks like a B, and it's a B. Um, C, uh, I don't really remember exactly. I think this is C, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it is basically the Nordic uh, runes in 
you know, the alphabet form, all the runes for it. I have all the runes written down right here in my book. Also, I drew a fucking pentacle just because, why not? And I drew a little shitty snake and wolf because I was bored and it was like ass crack in the morning. No, I was wrong. That symbol wasn't C, it was D. Uh, that is, you know, M is the E. Okay, so, you know, these are all the Nordic runes. I wrote them down just so I can, like, you know, pay attention to them. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I thought, like, whatever. I thought there was, like, a, you know, stain or whatever. I'd have to, like, fix something on there, but no. Uh, I wrote down the Nordic runes for the alphabet just because learning runes is, it was something that I was interested in. It doesn't necessarily have to do with Wicca, but, um... I was I, I really love Norse mythology and I love Greek mythology. I love Egyptology. I don't know if that's actually what it's called, but like I have I had a book as a kid growing up called Egyptology. I loved learning about the you know the culture and the nature of the Egyptians and their gods and how they would perform certain rituals and just certain things in general. So basically, I feel like I fit into this category because it's very peaceful, it's very tranquil, and it's very very lovely. It's something that, like, when you when you talk about here about Christianity, and you can believe whatever you want, I have nothing against Christianity or whatever religious uh, practice or choice you have, or chose, or choose whatever the fuck you want to say, um, but this is what I choose, honestly. As of right now, I'm not declaring that I am a Wiccan, but I'm, I, I'm still learning. I'm still very new and very young to this uh, art and or practice. But I did get myself a pentacle for my birthday, and I'm very, I was very, um, you know, fortunate and lucky that I was actually able to get this and the Funko Pops, because the Pops themselves were like 18 apiece, and I believe this is on Amazon for like $10, $11. So I'm very grateful that I was able to get those Pops, as well as this pentacle right here, because this is going to do me a lot of good. I'm going to wear this very frequently and regularly. I'm also probably going to be wearing the Hylian Shield and Master Sword that I, I typically wear around my neck, but now I have something else to wear aside from that, or I could wear both together. But, you know, I'm not going to, like... This isn't something I'm trying to, like, again, I'm not going to force this down your throat or whatever. You choose whatever you want to choose, believe whatever you want to believe in. This just is very peaceful, and I feel like this is genuinely what I need in my life to help me kind of, like, mentally cope with, like, a lot of issues that I've gathered and accumulated over the years. Unwanted, of course, and unwarranted. But, you know, with the whole anxiety and a lot of things that are very mentally scarring to this day that I do keep to myself and I, I have talked about and in, like, at least one or two other videos. Um, I know I did in the video of uh, when I was talking about um, Deltarune, when I was going through that shit, and I did kind of have, like, a little bit of a breakdown at the end of that. Not particularly proud of it, but I'm going to own it. I'm going to leave it there. And someone did actually comment saying that that did kind of like help them out to hear that someone else was going through like a similar situation. And I, it's honestly, that that's part of the reason why I kept that video up because that was actually very touching. And I thought, you know, like, ah, people are going to fucking call me any, and like here I get something like really wholesome and like adorable. And it's like, oh, well, that's sweet. Thank you. So if you're watching this video and you've seen that video and you're the one who commented, I don't remember your name. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, I appreciate that, and you're the reason why that video is still up and not redone at all. But, no, Wicca is very, you know, tranquil and very peaceful. It is basically, you know, it's basically, think of the Bible where, you know, a lot of people take it as just guidelines how to go through life. Like, be a good person, honor thine mother and father, fucking, I'm just gonna slap those there because they're there, because I gotta stretch my leg out because I fell asleep. And, you know, love thy neighbor and all that shit. I do know a lot of things about Christianity and just, like, you know, stuff about, you know, the Bible and stuff. I've never read the Bible, but I know enough about it to get by and, like, actually have the right, I feel, to talk about this kind of stuff. So, whereas this right here is basically much of the same. It is essentially, um, like, when, when I, uh, talked about Wicca to this individual, um... I'm not going to say their name for privacy reasons, for both, you know, them, well, just them, I guess. Um, they did mention that, like, oh, you know, Wiccans supposedly are, like, some of the nicest people, uh, and that is, okay, that was just the fucking camera focusing, I thought something stupid happened. So, Wiccans are supposedly some of, like, the nicest people, <clears throat> sorry, my fucking voice is, I've been talking for a bit, Wiccans are supposedly some of the nicest people that you will meet. Now, that's hit or miss, because people are different in their own way, shape, and form. 
Um, quite frankly, I'm not going to put myself on a pedestal or, like, you know, suck my own fucking egotistical cock because I'm not an egotistical fucking cunt. Um, but I do genuinely, you know, if, if I see someone out in public, I will hold the door for them gladly, especially with the whole, like, you know, uh, Rona going around. I actually have, anytime I've gone to... Uh, Dollar General or a Giant Eagle or whatever the fuck, I will hold the door like, you coming in? And if they say yes, um, I'll just hold the door open for them. I even if they're like over by their car and they're like, you know, a couple feet away, I will still be like, are you coming in? And if they say yes, I will hold the door open for them because that was how I was just genuinely raised. I was raised to fucking treat others the way I would want to be treated. And I do believe in, you know, doing good for others and, you know, by doing good... Y you, in return, will feel good about yourself, and it will just, you know, it'll help you out tremendously. And it does. It feels good to be nice to people, and it feels good to, like, just not be a dick. If you're a dick to me in public, I'm not gonna tolerate that at all, and I'm just basically gonna, you know, say, okay, fuck off, con, I suppose. But as is, uh, I'm, again, I'm not trying to fucking, you know, I'm not, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm trying not to come off as, like, an egotistical fuck, but what I'm saying is, I do genuinely hold the door for people. I do, um, I am kind to people. I do, um, spark friendly conversation occasionally, and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Especially when I went to the license bureau to get my ID. Um, I did have to tell some people, because of the whole Rona going around, a lot of people that worked in the license bureau weren't coming out and telling people specifically, like, what to do, where to go, how to go about what they were trying to do, and I was like, you see that fucking line in there? Um, when, the, when that line right there is free and nobody's standing on there, you just go right up in there and tell them what they're there, what you're there for, and they will basically guide you from there, and, you know, I, I didn't have to do that. Someone did point out, like, oh, well, you working? I'm like, no. Uh, why are you doing this then? Well, it's, you know, not a lot of them are coming out and telling people, and I feel like, you know, just... It would suck ass to just be standing out here confused as fuck when it's summer and it's hot. So, I did do that, and he did say, oh, that's very kind of you. And I'm like, well, I mean, you see it as an act of kindness. I see it as just being a fucking human being and being decent. So, this is that's part of the reason why, you know, this is, like, an accepted thing to me. Because it does promote, like, you know, just overall kindness. Much like, again, the Bible or any other religious, you know, forms and practices, etc., etc. Um... Yeah, it's just going to do its own thing. Um, so for me, I guess, getting down to the knit and grit of it. Uh, let me fucking get my leg back over here. There we go. Uh, I do have different stones and gems alike um, for a lot of this stuff. My brother actually had some extra stones. And I did ask him about my other brother, my oldest brother, um, who said he was, uh, well, he's, years ago he said he was pagan. He wears Mjolnir or Thor's hammer. I'll explain that in a bit. Um, actually, no, I'll explain that right now. Um, my second oldest brother uh, is pagan. He wears Mjolnir. Again, Thor's hammer. Uh, Mjolnir being Thor's hammer is Norse mythology. Uh, you know, Celtic not. And I know it's pronounced Celtic, but I say Celtic like everybody else. It, I, I'm sorry if that bothers you. I, I apologize, but that's how I'm going to fucking pronounce it. Um, the Celtic knot is, you know, part of you know, Irish culture as well as Norse mythology because, you know, I'm not going to sit here and give you a history lesson, but, you know, it, it certainly, it is a thing. It is very much a fucking strong representation of both the Irish and the Norse, uh, you know, Norse mythology and all that stuff. And Wicca, if you go up and you look up pentacles on Amazon right now or on Google, you will see a lot of pentacles that are actually in the middle of a Celtic knot. Or have, like, you know, Celtic uh, symbols or runes, uh -huh, i.e. this, um, you know, strewn about them, or designs, patterns, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is, like, really dry. But... Um, I figured since I already knew my brother was, uh, pagan and he was super into Norse mythology, I was always interested in that, but I didn't actually, uh, commit to it and get a, a fucking hammer for myself to wear around my neck. Cause I was still like trying to figure out, like, I, at that point I'm like, I don't need religion. And then like anxiety hit like a motherfucker and suddenly I'm, I feel for my own, well, fear, feel slash fear for my, my own uh, mortality, and, like, you know, questioning the afterlife, and whether or not there is something, and if there is, why does it let you suffer like this, and, you know, just, you know, stuff like that, so, 
Um, I feel like this uh, person that I met in VR chat, this friend that I have, they have helped me, I guess, to better understand and realize what I would like out of life, I guess, to a certain extent, in terms of, like, a practice or whatever that would make me feel comfortable or would help me both physically and mentally uh, adapt and, you know, better myself, essentially. And this is basically good. This is a good thing. I'm not trying to bastardize the art and form of Wicca. I'm not trying to, like, you know, whatever. I'm not trying to fuck it up or, you know, like, just say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm Wiccan now. I'm pagan. Like, pagan, and, like, I feel like I don't deserve to officially, you know, wear this and declare myself as, like, you know, Wiccan... Uh, but I will uh, openly state that I guess as of right now, I will say instead of being agnostic, I will take the role and or title of pagan because I do actually share some of the same, you know, fundamental thoughts and ideals that my brother does. And, you know, uh, I share some of the same kind of stuff that he, you know, represents and goes with in this, you know, you know, culture of, you know, religious choice. So pagan... I can get behind that. I like... It, it's it's nice. And again, uh, my brother, my oldest brother, had some uh, extra and spare stones, like gemstones and crystals, etc. Um, this right here, I believe, is called azimatite. Uh, it is a stone that promotes, I think... I wrote it down in my book, actually. Like, see, this is one reason why I fucking love this, because I'm actually, like, learning stuff, and I'm actually, like, being more artistic with what I'm doing... And I'm actually writing down stuff. So, as a, if I said azotite, it's uh, Amazon, Amazonite, sorry. Is a variety of... Um, let me get this up so I can actually read this. Is a variety of... Uh, feldspor? Fel, is that feldspor? Yeah, feldspor. I'm sorry, the lighting in here is horrible. That ranges in color from mint green to bluish green. It is said to attract uh, success in financial matters, which is why some gamblers wear it or, or keep it in their pocket uh, to ensure winning hands. It also aids in uh, communication and creativity and promotes uh, psychic awareness. So, basically, yes, I did write all that down in the book. I don't want to show it because my penmanship is awful. It's really fucking bad. It looks like a fucking like a, a second grader or third grader with fucking Parkinson's wrote it down. That's also why I'm trying to do this as well. I'm trying to better my penmanship as well, because I'm not. I'm gonna. Be, I'm, I'm gonna admit. I, I, I am the kind of motherfucker that really sucks at writing, and I don't understand. I can't read cursive all that well, and I can't write it either. But this is Amazonite, and that is basically what this is. So, I. This is that is one reason why I'll be carrying this around, uh, just for like the good fortune and success in anything that I go or strive to do. Which is very lovely, in fact, and I, I, I love it quite a bit. It's really nice. Uh, here we have Onyx. Now, Onyx is traditionally like a black color, or a gray color, but primarily black. This is a different form of Onyx. Onyx can come in a variety of different colors. Obviously, you can see this one is like an orangish red and or a pinkish, you know, yellow. So, you know, what Onyx is, if you fucking hold Onyx in one of in the palm of one of your hands and you do this with one of your fingers, basically, you now, again, you can chalk this up to, like, whatever the fuck you want to chalk it up to, but I genuinely do believe in, like, uh, different properties that certain stones hold, because as a kid, I remember my mom and my brothers uh, being interested in that. Like, my mom and my grandma would talk to me and teach me and my brothers about, like, different stones and what properties they would yield and, you know, like, stuff like that. And it was always interesting to me as a kid, so it makes sense that, you know, it all comes full circle back to this. The Celtic Knot do go around in circles, though. It, it takes a bit, but it will find its way back to the main point of value. So you do this, and you tell someone, what I want you to do is I want you to fucking try and pull my fucking index finger and my thumb apart. And nine times out of ten, you won't be able to do that, because what this stone does in particular is it promotes physical strength as well as many other things. I'm not really going to get into those, but if you want to read the all, you know, up on different stones and what, you know, qualities, traits, and things that they do and promote, I will leave a link to uh, the site that um, I, I found. It's one of many sites that I'm currently researching stones on as of right now. I will put the link in the very top of the description below if you want to check that out for yourself. 
I'll also put a link uh, to Amazon uh, if you want to check this out for yourself, and a link to this book if you want to pick this up and learn Wicca for yourself in general. I will I will do all the all three of those things for you just for you because I really like you. Also, you know, if anyone's interested in any of this, then there you go. That's that's some of the heavy lifting done for you. This right here is Cat's Eye. What it particularly does, I am not 100% sure at the moment. I do remember reading about it, but I don't remember fundamentally what it yields and what it promotes or does for you as a whole. If I remember correctly, it involves something about peace. Uh, a lot of these stones have something to do with, like, you know, putting your mind at ease and, you know, promoting peace and, you know, uh, awareness and just overall, you know, just just stuff. Love is what comes to my mind, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> and yes, that was shaped like an elephant. This is Goldstone. Do not remember what this one does at all. Again, if you want to research any of these stones for yourself and let me know in the comments, or just read them for yourself, the link will be in the description below. Check that out. It's one of the many sites that I use. I'm just going to link the one because they all kind of say the same thing, some better than others, but that's the one that I will stick there because it's one that I currently have bookmarked at this moment in time. If I decide that I want to put the other ones in there, they will be there. If not, then I guess it's just that one site. I don't exactly remember what this one yields or holds or does, but, you know, it is what it is. I might actually go, because I, I do have that page open on my computer in a different tab, uh, or I could just pull it up in a different tab. I don't actually have it up right now. Thought I did, but no, that's that's just fucking Google. Um, I will I will fucking probably read some of these stones and what they do for you from that site. A lot of the stuff from these sites I'm actually copying word for word and putting in my book. Now you could chalk that up to, well that's very fucking stupid. Why not put it in your own words and be creative? I'd rather write it down how it is, you know, from directly from the source that I'm getting it from, instead of adding my own flair to it, because then I'll get myself confused. It's like improv. I can improv fairly fucking well, but when it comes to, like, write, writing and whatnot, when I try and improv everything and when it comes to this kind of stuff, you just kind of lose interest and it gets boring. Whereas I could just copy and paste what I, you know, read and just put, you know, pencil to paper and get it done. Call that lazy. Call it what you will. This is Lemon Quartz. Uh, it is a yellow, uh, you know, form of crystal. It, again, it is quartz. Quartz is a crystal. Crystals are very uh, universally just good, you know, in general for uh, Wicca. Uh, just, again, for what they are, what they do, etc., etc. Um, example, uh, Merlin, or any other famous, uh, wiz you know, warlock or witch, you know, if they had a crystal ball, crystals are said to actually yield the property to gaze into, like, you know, the future, or, you know, have a clear seeing on certain topics or manners or subjects or whatever the fuck. So crystals are, you know, just universally good to have for that kind of thing. This right here is Jasper. Again, I don't remember what this one does. A few of these stones, I actually do know what they do. Just the ones I'm currently pulling out, I don't fucking remember. This is Snowflake Obsidian. I have like four chunks of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is another form of stone that I mentioned is basically this one right here, except this is like the actual one. This is the black stone, whereas the other one is a pear. And you know, my brother had another one where it was yellow and it was a sh it was a banana. But before I could actually say you know banana, because I I was gravitating towards this one because I really liked this one, the coloring of it. He's like, you know, I'll take the banana because I like the banana. It's like, thank you, you've made my choice that much easier. This is quartz, or it's just basically a crystal. But it is a form of quartz again. Uh, a lot of uh, witches and warlocks uh, in a lot of books and studies have actually said that this actually gives you like a, a clear reading of, you know, just stuff like thoughts, uh, future, you know, past, present, etc. Etc, etc, etc. This is another he uh, form of hematite. It is the exact same color of, uh, you know, shade of grayish black, whatever the fuck. It basically is the same thing as this right here, except that one, this one is a teardrop or a water drop, and it's you can see that you could put like a, a string through it and use it as like a necklace or whatever, but I like this more because that speaks to me on a personal level. There's another fucking obsidian, uh, there's another fucking obsidian, and this right here is a big-ass chunk of fucking stone. 
And honestly, it fucking looks like... It reminds me of a geode. Is this a crystal? No. This is agate. Specifically, agate. From what I can remember, what I was told and what I'm learning, agate specifically is used to ward off, you know, evil and other shit, um, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it also uh, helps uh, and promotes good dreams. So if you're having nightmares and you don't want to have any bad dreams or nightmares, put a stone or a piece of agate under your pillow and it will basically help promote good dreams. It's like a dream catcher for like the Native Americans. But, you know, for Wiccans and, you know, Pagans and other shit. So, I'm just going to go ahead and read this right here. Agate is a form of silka whose colorful, grainy look makes it take it, or, uh, pfft, makes it take many forms uh, with many names. It is said to protect and guard against sorcery and evil, which I, 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 I remember that one. I'm glad I did. Fucking, uh, where'd I leave off that shit? Um... Uh, protecting, again, uh, yeah, okay, uh, sorcery and evil. Centuries ago, uh, warriors wore agates, uh, when engaging in battle to protect them from serious injury and promote, uh, courage, strength, and bravery. Basically, agate in a nutshell. Courage, strength, bravery, and is to ward off evil and, you know, just all, you know, manner of sorcery. But this is, like, one of my fucking favorite, uh, stones, and again... Agate is one of those stones, it isn't mentioned there, but you can put a piece of this under your pillow, and it will, you know, kind of ward off, like, you know, evil and other stuff like that, and it will help you with dreams and all, you know, all the other stuff. Now, I do have another thing over here. I don't, re you know, remember exactly where I put it. I did have it here somewhere. I'm kind of a little, uh, you know, uh, upset slightly that I don't know where I put it. Oh, there it is. It's at the bottom of here. So, right here is a bunch of other little stones that I have. Um, like, um, right here. This is clear quartz. Clear quartz is, again, very useful indeed. I'm probably not going to actually read these because we're, like, coming on, like, 30, almost 40 minutes, and I don't know how much time I have left to actually get this video out, so... I'm going to go quickly, and what little time I have left, I will probably read some shit. I don't remember what this this is called, but I... Uh, Car Carnelius... It's a, it, it, the name reminded me of Cornelius, and it's like, it's, a, a, I don't fucking know. Uh, this is Tiger's Eye. This is, uh, shit, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> again, I'm still learning a lot of these different stones. I'm a little fucking autistic. This is Rose Quartz. I can tell you what this one represents. This is the Stone of Love, basically. It, um, promotes, uh, basically... It it, bas it helps with, like, you know, making a deeper connection with loved ones, like friends, family, and it also helps you, uh, it's like a good luck charm to finding that special someone uh, in your life to share your life with. It is the stone, the gemstone of, or the stone of love, essentially, from what I've gathered, and it's very beautiful. And this right here is sodalite. Uh, it's very pretty and very beautiful. Again, I don't exactly remember what all these stones do. I'm still learning them. But I know that I know what what rose quartz does. I know what fucking clear quartz does. It's basically what I mentioned earlier with the whole crystal ball and whatnot. So crystals and especially clear quartz as well. Um, I don't remember what sodalite does. I don't remember what uh, uh, tiger's eye does. I don't remember the name of this one in particular. Again, I'm still again remembering. Bear with me, which is why I'm kind of like saying, yeah, I'm probably not fit to call myself a Wiccan at this moment in time, because I don't know enough about it. If I can't, rem you know, memorize all these different gemstones that I have currently that my brother gave me because I was interested in gemstones, not to own any at the moment, but, like, you know, to just look at them and learn them and their names and what they do, um, but I have them, and I'm grateful that I have them, because I can, I really love them in the form of they're beautiful, and they do a lot of good for you in terms of what qualities they have. And I genuinely do feel a, you know, connection with these when I hold them in my hand. I do feel a lot of different properties in these, you know, like what properties they actually represent. Like, especially with rose quartz. I held that in my hand, like betwixt my index finger and my middle finger yesterday when I was in VR chat getting drunk. Because uh, it was my birthday as soon as I hit 12 o'clock midnight. I was able to connect with so many people, a lot more than usual, 
Um, I met I met so many wonderful people as well that I had a lot in common with. Um, not in terms of like you know love interest, but like c certainly like you know friends. And I will I can't say with certainty. Probably you can chalk it up to placebo or whatever, but I genuinely feel in my fucking body, mind, and soul that a lot of these gemstones actually do help you out spiritually, physically, and mentally. And I do believe that they actually do provide a certain amount of, like, safety, protection, whatever they represent or help with. I do genuinely believe that they work. And that's the most important thing, is actually believing. That's like um, when people or Christians talk about believing in the Lord Jesus Christ or God. Uh, they do typically talk about, you know, um, getting into... You gotta get into it. You gotta put your heart and soul. You gotta, you know, into it. You gotta mean it. You have to physically, you know, when you say a prayer, it has to come from the heart. And it, you actually, it has to have meaning behind it. You have to mean it, you know, et cetera, et cetera, for it to actually, like, have any results. And having faith and believing is will what, you know, guide you through your life. Um, but again, I'm not trying to force any kind of religious ideologies or ideals or practices or whatever down your throat. I'm just talking and giving reference material. By the way, this little pouch that I have is what this, um, my, my pentacle came in. So it's actually really nice. And the fact that it actually came with a pouch, I actually already did have a pouch, uh, that I had my gems in earlier, but it was a pouch that was very sentimental and I didn't really want to use it for that. So I didn't, um... I'm glad I actually got this. I didn't expect this. So now I have a little uh, satchel to carry my gemstones in. Um, this is the thing that it came in. It says on there, you know, made in China. Fucking uh, something Norse, Viking, whatever the fuck for men and women. Uh, and this is a little plastic baggie that it came in. So this was in this and this was in this and this was in this. So, yeah, no, I, I honestly, I fucking adore having this pentacle, and I will be wearing this and be wearing it with pride. I will say, it, when I first opened it, it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be, but it's, I, I will know, it's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, like, this tiny little fucking thing, and I will admit, I thought it would be, I underestimated and overestimated the size of it, but size doesn't matter with this. You can see what it is, you can tell what it is, the runes are legible, it's beautiful. I love it. It's it's gorgeous. So, this in particular, um, yeah, no, I'm super happy, happy and thrilled with it. I thought it would be bigger, but at the same time, I thought it would be sm way smaller. It is just the right size. It is beautiful. It's almost as, I thought it would be, it might actually be the same size or like slightly smaller than my Zelda coin. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually just... A fucking teeny bit sh uh, smaller than my Zelda coin. Uh, so, yeah, no, that's 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 good. Um, I carry this with me everywhere as well, because why not? And blah, blah, blah. Why was I flickering it like that? To try and fucking fix the lighting. Or I could just do that. I, I, I could just tap the screen and adjust it that way. But, yeah, no, um, this was basically a video of me talking about my third gift that I got for my birthday today. Um, I love it immensely. I am very grateful that I was able to get this. I am very thankful to have this. I will wear this with pride and honor, and I honestly will continue to do more research on, you know, Wicca. I will finish this book. I will add more to my own book, uh, just to show that I'm kind of not bullshitting. I will kind of show... I, I did write Wicca in Nordic Runes just because, you know, whatever. Uh, I will show, you know, I did write some stuff. I'm not, you can pause it, but it's, like, really shittily done. I also decorated, you know, some of the pages. Uh, I haven't finished with this one. Uh, but I did actually write stuff down there just to show that I'm not bullshitting or fucking around. But that's going to do it for this video before it cuts off on me. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it, subscribe. That helps out a lot. If you want to join my Steam group and my Discord, uh, links will be in the description below. You'll be notified. Uh, we'll be in the description. Uh, we'll be in the description below. Thank you. Uh, if you want to join my Steam group and my Discord, again, that's a thing. Steam group for notifications, Discord for notifications, and be social with me and other viewers and such. Um, if you want to check out, again, Prim uh, Adventures on um, 
Twitter, their Kickstarter, or the game on Steam, the demo that's currently available right now. Uh, all those links will already be in the description, but again, if you want to check out this book specifically or pick it up for yourself, I will put the uh, link to this, if I can find it on, on Amazon, in the description. I will also put a link to that one website with those gemstones, and I will definitely put a link to this pentacle right here, if this is something that is up your alley or whatever you want to say about that. So, once again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you want to, uh, if you want to do a video, if you're actually interested in this kind of content, let me know. I'll actually do a video, like, um, when I've memorized more about these stones and their names and what they do. I'll do a video about these stones and talking about their properties, and I will actually read off all the different stones and, you know, minerals and other stuff from that site to you specifically. And, you know, just get that out in the open for all of you. So let me know if this that would interest you at all. And thank you all so much for watching. I uh, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next uh, video or live stream. Whichever comes first, have yourselves a good day. Bye bye. Happy birthday to me. Just for shits and giggles. Happy birthday, congratulations. Happy birthday with salutations. Happy birthday, may your sky stay blue. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, birthday song.